to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Miami going up against Cuba. Bueno, aquí tenemos el equipo cubano entrando a home club. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Here's the second baseman, number 15. Bueno, aquí tenemos el traje del otro equipo. Está colibre, coloreado en rosado. Y rosado es un color mezclado ahí. No se sabe que lo que es. Tiene un gusto perdido, pero bueno. Mira, aquí viene el primer strike. Eh, los cogidos jugando gol. Eduardo Julien. No, esa está mejorcita y la deja pasar. Increíble. Tira la mala, pero la buena la deja pasar. Vemos, le tira mala. No, te tira la para abajo, que te la batea para abajo. Vamos. Lanza lanzamiento, batazo a lo profundo, la mete para abajo, pero sí, dice que sí, dice que sí, dice que sí. Turning and looking and it's gone. He sends it out of here. And that gives him the lead. It's one nothing. Now it's the right. Wow. Right fielder, number 10. Swings through that one. Oh and one. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Next offering is in for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to... Swing and a miss. Gassed it right by him. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Line drive, caught. And now it's Luis Robert. He's a guy who does it all. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one missed. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. That one inside. Three and one now. Swing and a miss. And a 3-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. This one in the air right field. Garcia settles under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Here's a speed threat. Lee Lynn. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Throwing the dirt, and he can't come up with it. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pitch got way in on him, and he couldn't do much with it, but good hustle to get up the line and turn that into an infield single. Luis Robert now. And that's in there for strike one. Lynn aboard here at first with nobody out. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. pitch got him and that's the first out standing in is the power hitting second baseman number 33 first pitch just misses good speed on the base pass he handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit Here's a 1-1. And 
And a foul ball. Left field. Lynn moving under this one. Makes the grab. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Francisco Lindor swings through it for strike one. Next pitch is inside and one and one. Next offering is fouled back. The one two line and that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. 112 miles per hour. The ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing. So that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. He's under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. here in Miami second inning set to go now the third baseman Nolan Arenado Chris it's pretty crazy to think that Nolan Arenado shared an entire side of the infield with a future platinum Glove Award winner in Matt Chapman. They both were on the same team in high school at El Toro High School. Welcome back, and we've got a new arm on the mound to start the second. Sam Hentges. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Tosses to first. One out in the second. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Robbie Glendinning, the next to hit, takes ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can deter. That one is absolutely belted. Can't get there. Base hit. Garcia quickly throws it in, and they throw on the brakes at third with no intention of testing the strong arm in right. He was all over that one. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Sir Anthony Dominguez gets the ball now. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Now, here is Lee Lin. This one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. Runners stay put. That's ball one. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. And he chases a high fastball there. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. In the dirt, nice job behind the plate. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Arenado at third. Glenn Dinning at second with one away. Bounce to the right side. That's a base hit as a run scores. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's three zip gets the job done as he brings home a pair just a simple ground ball the other way they had eyes on it man sometimes that's all you need to do just let the ball travel put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole and it finds its way through for a hit throw to second not in time he's there easily 
Number 15 digs in now. In there, and it's 0-1. It's strike two. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now the right fielder, number 10, struck out swinging his first time. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. The right-hander back to work. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Around first, heading for two. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Lopez gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Back-to-back -back base hits. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Adolis Garcia. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Next pitch in the dirt. And it's a ball to strike. Kicks and deals. High chopper to third. Throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Tied him up really well with that pitch inside. Couldn't get it out of the infield, but somehow turns it into a knock. That's a thing of beauty, and some hits just don't make sense. And here is Christian Bethencourt. Runners on the corners, no outs. The next offering misses. And now 2 0. Oh. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. That one back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags from third. Play at the plate. Safe. And it's a one run ball game. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield got to the spot turned around and made a nice catch and that one lifted in the air center field he's under it he's got it and there's two away so digging in Luis Robert his first at bat was a strikeout Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. They get the force, and that will end the inning. Back here at Lone Depot Park, top half of the third inning. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Dominguez, 28 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. This one in the air center field. Robert moves under it. 
and makes the grab and there's one down almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch man he's gonna want that one back no doubt well struck right field that one's back there gone Luis Robert hits one out and they boost their lead it's 4-2 one out base is empty here's Nolan Arenado doubled in his first day B Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Andres Munoz. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. One down, base is empty. And that one clips the corner. pitch this to third whips it to first and they get Arenado for the out now the catcher up to hit Harry Ford and he swings and misses at the initial offering swings through that one Right-hander kicks, deals, cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, now it's the second baseman, number 33. Number 33. Doval, back to work. This to center field. It falls in, and that's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. In the air, left field, Lynn settles under it, brings it in, one away. So now the DH spot, Nelson Cruz, outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Tying run at the plate. And it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner around second into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Now at the plate, Nicky Lopez. That one's in there, 0-1. Runners are at the corners, one away. I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield this one in the dirt Jose Abreu up to hit one for one with a double and a run score first pitch doesn't find the zone He was late there, strike one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. 
These guys were ready early on. Just a three-inning game, but we saw a lot of action. That was as much a slugfest as you could hope for in this type of contest. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Inside Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. Diamond Dynasty Baseball coming your way on the show. It's the Aces and the Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go. And the batter now, Lee Lynn. And a pitch. In there at the knees. And this one is off and running. In the air right field. Number eight. Has this one sized up. One down. And now it's Luis Robert. Have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Number 33, getting ready to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and he just misses. Robert stands at first with one out. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And the go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. The 0-1. Oh 
And the pitch is outside, ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. In the air, left side. And he makes the grab. Out number two. Nelson Cruz now at the plate. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. He's under it. Makes the catch. That is the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. And the batter now, Luis Robert. And a pitch. There's a strike. Next pitch has popped up. Hauls it in for the out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Yu Chang now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. That one out to right. Garcia settles under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now it's the right fielder, number eight. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First offering misses the mark. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Nope. Next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. Ground ball right side. Abreu takes it himself. And that is the third out of the inning. Here in Miami, Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And the right hander back to work. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. He's got it, and there's one down. Jose Abreu up to hit. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two really good back to back sliders. Now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Here's the 0 2. To the right side. To first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Adolis Garcia. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. 
All over that one right there. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Bethencourt puts it away. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, number 15. Rip to first, caught. Here's the second baseman, number 33. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Next pitch has popped up. And there are two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. watch base hits like that one all day long and so could every hitting coach in the league just a nice line drive into center field and here is Christian Bethencourt hit in the air right field and it gets by him And he's in safely at third. And a run comes in to score. Picks himself up an RBI. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little... Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And stepping in is the speedy Lee Lin. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And it's fouled away. Righty delivers. In the air. Right field. Number eight in position. And it's caught for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Robert swings through it for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch has popped up. Bethencourt right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. And that is the ball game. So much rides on each and every at bat in these three inning games. It's like the playoffs. Sometimes all it takes is one big swing and some great pitching to come away with a quick one to nothing win. One nothing the final. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us.